what's good youtube it's your boy h truth 85 man and we're back with another installment of the road to shotguns all right so now on this game i'm gonna show you basically what happened why you want to play with friends and strong you know, you know what I'm saying? Players that are strong, you don't want to play with noobs or weak players. But if you end up in the game, like say you, like it's right now, it's like early in the morning. And so like none of my, I just started this account, so I haven't, I'm recruiting. You know what I'm saying? I haven't met that many good players yet. So what I'm doing is, I'm, um, you know, just playing, seeing if I can find good players. And if I find a good player, I add them. This game was not the case. I'm in a game with three noobs, so um, it's going to be extremely difficult. I'm going to show you why it's going to be extremely difficult to get shotguns. And this is the best strategy I can give you. Yeah, I kind of trolled that boy that I was um, teabagging the zombie. Yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> Alright, so it's round one. You know, I. I know I'm supposed to shoot four times, stab, but sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I just, you know, go with the flow. I don't play a specific way. Vital Zombies has a good strategy to get you, like, 10,000 points, like, before round 10. You'll have, like, 10,000 points and all the perks. You should check that video out. You guys want to check that video out, I'll link it in the uh, description. Okay, now... So far, let's check the stats. Four kills, no downs. Another player has five kills and no downs. Oh, how quickly that will change. <laughs> I just want to, because I said in the first video why you don't want to play with weak players, so I had to show you guys. And by the way, yeah, I'm st I still have, oh man. See, he was, that's when, you know, when, you know how when you go in the game and one guy just stands there, and you got to protect him, I don't know, you go off and make him a sandwich or something, go jack off and watch the game or something, you know what I'm saying, all of a sudden he want to play now, but, shit, he was better off just standing there. Get a nuke right there. I actually could have carried us further than what I did, but playing with noobs like that, they fucked everything up. I always hit the box early. My strategy is get enough points to hit the box. And if I get some bullshit, I want to have enough. Sometimes I want enough to hit the box twice. Sometimes I do it once, but you, I want to get a gun by round three. That's King Kurt. He's pretty good. I've been playing with him. He's been helping my KD get real high. If I wasn't doing this video, I'd go play with him. I'll just get at him later and let him know I'm, um, you know, busy with the channel. He's a pretty good player. That game I showed y'all earlier, 940, I was playing with him. What I'm noticing right now, I'm getting way too many kills for it to be round three. Way too many. I don't want to be having. I'll prefer to have the least amount of kills right now. If, if I'll get real worried if it's this early and I'm and I'm having to kill this many zombies on my own. They really have. I'm right now. I'm thinking I'm getting way too many kills. See, I got 22, two, 11, and two. That's real bad. I'm I'm already worried. I know they're not that good now. But you'll also have those guys that look real real strong in the first five to eight rounds and then by round nine ten they just start dropping because it's, it's real easy you know you got those guys it's real easy to kill the zombies where they spawn but once they get out and swarming in the streets it's, you know a lot of people don't know how to dodge it's an art form you know everybody i like seeing the different dodge techniques i might make a funny video and like name the dodging techniques i really don't have a name for the style I thought the way I thought I'm just kind of all over the place I just like kind of feel them out 
I just try to keep them in front of me as much as possible. Like if you notice, I'm all I'm constantly always watching my back. You have to always watch your back. See, I'm I'm gonna stay turning around. That's the that's really the best piece of advice I can give you if you want to get better at zombies. Watch your back all the time. Stay watching your back. If you know, if you like, see, I know a zombie can't come from behind me right there, so I don't really have to watch my back. But I'm backing into a corner where I know they won't get me. It's way too many zombies. Right now, I don't have any bullets. So what I'm going to do is open the door. I'm close to Jug anyway. I'm not going to go down. You know, I don't want to go down. So I'm about to jump out this window. There's way too many zombies. And I want to get him up, but I'm not finna risk going down. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to move out the way. If y'all can hear the gameplay, he all pissed, but it's like, bro, you shouldn't be going down in round floor with these slow-ass zombies anyway. I understand sometimes it happens, but come on, man. Look how slow they move. Yeah, fine, we'll get a max ammo. Okay, rounding them up. Back to my strategy to how I play every game of town. I get a gun, and as soon as I get a gun, they can give me points. And I don't care if, what kind of gun it is. If it's a gun that you get out the box, it can get you enough points to get to 2,500. I need to since the door is open. I need. I really like to have 3,250 so I can open the door and get you. But since the door is already open, I opened it early. As soon as I get 2,500, I buy you. I do not want to go down, you know, and I, I'm a lot more comfortable once I finally get jugged because I'm pretty good at looting zombies. So, yeah, he left the game. You always gonna have that guy that go down so much he leaves the game. I've been that guy a few times. I ain't gonna lie. That was when I first started playing those. <laughs> See how I dodge him. And I only got a pistol. See, I'm worried because it's too many zombies for it to be three of us and it's that many zombies. So now I'm going to get something to, to kill the zombies. But we got an insta kill, so now I can go and take them out. Just way too many zombies. Okay, starting round six. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I might be checking. Oh, I'm probably checking the score or something, seeing what's going on. Let's check the score right quick. Okay, I got 45 kills, no downs, two revives. they're doing these guys okay yeah I mean at this point I'm like okay maybe they just have trouble killing but I'm really concerned because it's just no it's too many zombies they everywhere and it's only round six so I'm trying to get a gun I know if I, I'm like I'm thinking I gotta get a gun I gotta you know eliminate some of these zombies up there now they starting to drop go and I'm thinking in my mind oh here we go and they both down it ain't really nothing I can do for them right now because it's like they not running there. The zombies not moving that fast. And it's a nice little trick if you get caught in the alley if you don't know this trick. Back up. As soon as they get close to you, run all the way out. And see, usually I'd run around that car and run out, but they running so slow I can't get out. I can't get to them. The zombies are moving slow. They're not even running. They they jogging, I guess you could say. I'm not going to be able to get to them. I'm 
Okay, so now, see, they both gone. So now I'm thinking, okay, if I want to go far in this game, I'm gonna, I'm already thinking I got to get, I would never, I would only get um, quick revive if I'm playing with weak players. If I'm playing with strong players, I as my last perk, I get RIP. Or sometimes if I feel like I'm not going to go down, I'll go ahead and get, um, I'll go ahead and get, um, stamina up. But since these guys are so bad, I know I need a gun to kill these zombies. I got my jug. I know I need a really good gun. I'm like, give me something so I can, you know, kill the zombies. And that's a big help right there, monkey bombs. I'm like, thank you, monkey bombs, so I can, you know, get these guys up. But I'm still, I know I'm still going to have to get, there you go, see, down again. I'm still going to have to get quick revive. Now I got monkey, so I use this monkey to get him up. I'm going to get the other guy up, and oh, what happened? He goes down again. So now I'm just knowing. I'm knowing now we're not gonna get that far. So I'm just gonna have to get it, get as many kills as I can <laughs> before this game ends, because I'm not gonna be able to carry these dudes for too long. This is just a guide if you get in this situation, how you can handle it, and it, and you know still come out with a pretty good KD. know if I don't get him up now, he's going to die. I, get, I don't know why I should let him die, but you know, I'm not the kind of guy, player I like, you know, if I'm going to get you up. If, I mean, if you're playing with me, I'm going to do my best to get you up if I can. Plus, it goes to my revives, which I think um, counts towards your emblems. All the stats count, so I want to get as many revives as I can. I'm now going to get the other guy. Alright, let's check the stats. I'm 85 and 0. One guy's 24 and 4. The other guy 42 and 4. And we're only on round 7. You know, let's. I know, I know we're not going that far, so I'm, my main goal now is just to get as many kills as I can. Trade out my S12 for a ray gun. And look, I'm thinking about quick revive, but I don't have enough, so I'm going to get a couple of kills, and as soon as I have the money, I'm going to get quick revive. So I can use these dudes, now I can use these dudes to farm revives. <laughs> The ray gun's okay. I don't use it too much because of the splash damage. You know, we don't have um, PhD flopper for some reason. Wish we did, but we don't. Um, I bet you um, the next DLC I have PhD flopper. They got to. They gotta give us one PhD flopper. Come on, Treyarch. Okay, as soon as I get the money, I get the equipment vibe because I know I'm gonna need it. And look, so those. As soon as I get it. <laughs> jump. I watch where the zombies at when I jump down from the windows. And now I'm thinking about um, double tap because um, my gun's not shooting as fast as I want to. And I know I'm going to have to kill a lot of zombies. So I'm thinking double tap now. Like, at this point, I really, since I really don't like the ray gun that much, I'm like, uh, double tap or another gun. But I'm pretty sure the smart way to go is to go ahead and get double tap now. You can always keep hitting the box later, but then go on and get double tap out the way. So right now, I'm um, thinking about getting enough money to get double tap.
shooting at the sky. Round nine. Pretty good at dodging the zombies. Even when I have really, really bad players to play with, I'm pretty good. Once I get jug, I can pretty much take take care of the rounds. It's just, you know, eventually they gonna do something to fuck you up. Cause they, you know, they don't know what they doing. I'm backing off in the corner where I, where I know they can't get me. I actually have enough for um for double tap. I wonder what I'm waiting on. Oh, no, that's what I was waiting. I'm waiting on it. <laughs> Go that so I can get that, that revive. <laughs> okay. I got I can revive them. Make sure the area is clear. Cause I'm not taking no downs for nobody. I'm kind of hesitant because I saw all those zombies go up the stairs. Okay, where are we at? 131, no down. Look, I have 131 kills going into round 10. That is not good. That means they are really bad. I have to kill too many zombies. If you have four good players, Probably won't be, shouldn't be in the hundreds till like maybe the round 15 because everybody's uh, sharing the load. Shot him in the ass. See, I'm, see, I'm finna have to start letting the letting the ray gun loose. You know what I'm saying? Letting the, letting the zombies have it. That splash damage is crazy, man. But it it'll, it'll get you too. I maneuver around them, make my way outside. I'm thinking in my head somebody's gonna go down because all them zombies went upstairs, but thankfully they turned around. Oh yeah, he jumped out the window, I see. Okay. So now we get killed. Oh, now he goes down. Oh, so find that hole. Get through that hole. Both of them down again. And what I'm gonna do is take the zombies all the way from the building and go all the way around and get them. Normally that's what I would do. I ain't do it that time though. Like if it's a lot like a high round and you go, I, I, I prefer that people go down right here in this building. Get y'all asses up, man. Fucking loops. Gotta carry you guys on my back. 171. One has 8,075 kills, 44. 8,075 kills, yeah. 44 kills and 5 downs. It's crazy, man. Hopefully, you get you gotta get a decent gun. I don't. Need, I usually don't. I don't want to pack a punch till round 14. But I feel like they're easy to kill before the end, and plus you get more points. I'm gonna get him up. He does the right thing, though. He jumps right out the window. It's a pain when you get somebody up right there and they just stand there and you go down because they blocking the window. I can't stand it. He did the right thing, though. He jumped out the window. Okay, it's, I'm thinking it's exactly, entirely too many zombies after him and he's going down. I'm not finna go down for him. Now I'm like, shoot, I'm, I should be switching guns and going to kill all these zombies. I mean, look at them, they everywhere. I mean, it's crazy. They can't 
can't kill no, there ain't no help. They can't kill zombies, it makes it harder on them. I feel like it's, it's round 11, but it feel like round 20 something. Because you have to carry the load. They, look at that. It's crazy. Now this is what I would do if I didn't have monkeys. I would do this same thing anyway because it, you know, gives you room. This right here is around the end of the match, I believe. Is it? I don't know. We'll see. I think it is. I used the monkey. Got him. Down again. I mean, it's crazy. Did I get him up? Yep, I got him up. Oh no, it's not the end yet. Oh God, it's H Truth, baby. <laughs> I can run with the best of them. I just played this game, so you know I'm I'm doing this commentary blind, but you know we're gonna we're keeping it 100. I, I think I'm out of ammo in my um, ray gun. Why I'm not pack a punching it, I don't know. I definitely want a better gun. My favorite gun, by the way, is the execution. Oh man, I I could probably take get us. I probably could have got us 20 rounds with the execution through a monkey, so I can upgrade this ray gun because I'm out of ammo for it and I need it. type of matches if at all possible. Yeah, this is the end, right? I let him get him up and not thinking all the freaking zombies are everywhere. And once the, you go down, you know, that's it. So I'm getting as many kills as I can. <laughs> I didn't even bother going to get the um, skull because I pretty much knew that was it. But yeah, man. That's what happens when you play with noobs. Let's check the final stats. 231 kills, one down. 16 revives though, you know? So that's not too bad. It's still under two. I want to get, I want my KD to be around three, three something, three, four hundred. I know I'm gonna need it to be there to, you know, get the shotguns so that was the last game I played um, I'm gonna go ahead and up update you guys on my stats okay as you see now I have two tallies I'm still a bone I have six hundred and six thousand four hundred and twenty eight kills 23 downs 116 revives I believe, let me check my KD for you guys right quick. I got um, my cell phone. I'm going to go to the calculator right quick. Um, okay, 6,428 divided by 23. So my KD is 279 right now, which is good, but I still want it to be better. I know earlier it was like it was like 260 when I showed you guys earlier, so it went up. Not from this game; it was a game I played before this when I had a really good game. Um, got like 600 and some kills, one down. Um, but yeah, you no. Know, so that last game actually dropped my KD because since my KD was like probably like almost a 300, and I posted a 230, obviously the KD was lower than my. Then my game, my KD for the game was lower than my average, so my KD dropped. But yeah, man, that's what happens when you play with noobs, guys. So avoid them noobs, and if you end up with a game with noobs, hopefully something I said will help you out. Good luck on getting your shotguns, guys. Go ahead and leave comments below. Um, subscribe, hit that like button. Um, check out my other videos. 
I'll catch you guys next time, man. It's Ace Truth signing off. Peace.